Old mobile phones, broken cables, crashed laptops, ancient television sets and computers, all that electronic scrap. In our homes, the useless electrical equipment items await proper recycling. Regulations require Germans to dispose of this kind of waste separately from other refuse because it has value. Through recycling, on the one hand, we save energy, and on the other, we live in a nation which is poor in natural resources. We lack the raw materials, or have only very limited quantities. Thanks to recycling, we can recover what are called secondary raw materials. At the IFAD 2014, the harvesting of secondary raw materials will be an important theme. International experts will meet at the world's biggest environmental technology fair and present innovations and concepts for the waste management sector. The greatest future challenge? The securing of new sources of raw materials and the increase of efficiency in this field of endeavor. The recycling of mobile phones is a good example for efficient recovery of raw materials. About 106 million redundant cell phones are tucked away in German households. What few realize is that they account for about 25 tons of silver, two and a half tons of gold, and a ton of palladium, all valuable and strategically important metals. Some key secondary raw materials, like copper and PVC, can be won from old cables and wires. Modern processes make almost 100% recycling possible. The raw materials are partially recovered through shredding, sieving, and also by electrolytic processes involving melting. A shredder reduces the cable to tiny fragments and then grinds it up. The vibrating sieve separates the metal from the plastic housing. This delivers both copper and PVC in a quality equal to that of the primary raw materials. By the way, up to 56% of the copper used in Germany comes from recycled waste. The automobile industry is also very aware of recycling issues. Cars no longer fit for the road must be dealt with professionally by specialist firms. And what do they find in the old autos? For one thing, there are the usual components like bumpers, engines and gear trains which can be resold. But more significant are the valuable fluids, metals and plastics. An average mid-class motor car is comprised of 930 kilos of steel, 285 kilos of plastic, 75 kilos of consumables, and 150 kilos of other metals. Efficient automobile recycling calls for modern technology solutions. BMW have developed a highly innovative disassembly solution. It'll be shown to visitors for the first time at the IFAT 2014, demonstrated in action on one of the show areas. What is so special with our disassembly solution is that full automation allows us within a very short time to add specific tools to the system. This means we always have the right tool for the job on hand. We can, for example, remove from the car the entire copper cabling harnesses quickly and efficiently. This enables an optimized recovery of metals such as copper. The German Economics Institute has recently confirmed that the recycling industry is one of the fastest growing fields of enterprise. Over the last 15 years, it has grown by about 14%, considerably more than the overall German economy. The IFAT 2014 in Munich will reflect this potential. This is a trade fair on a global scale. Here, the whole world is represented. Thanks to the exhibitors, we'll discover many technical novelties, and the event includes informative conference sessions with information on themes of recycling, waste disposal, and water management.